Hey guys, what's going on? It's Josh Timlin and Rafer here. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the Ice Cap Gyri 3K. Now let's get started. Alright guys, so I just got the box in the mail and I'm going to go ahead and open it. And I really like the box. It looks like something that's going to work, if that makes sense. Now inside the box, you get your controller, you get your power strip, and you get the actual pump. I do like the, the controller. The controller doesn't feel cheap. The little turn dial it has reminds me of the old iPod controllers. And it comes with two little sleeves to put over the pump to keep any like anemones are going in. And it is a strong magnet. There is a little plastic piece in there that you need to be wary of and make sure it doesn't stick together or it's not coming apart. All right, let's go check out the pump controller. All right, guys, we are on the side of the tank. You can see all my pumps. And here is the control for the ice cap. Now, one thing I do like about this is that it's easy, easy to control. I do like this turn dial. It makes it easy to use. You basically have four buttons. You have a power button, a control button, a dial, and a select. So this pump has, I think, four basic options on it. So it has pulsating mode. So I have it set to pulsate at 40% every one second. It has a ramp mode for like once every one second it ramps up to 40% and down back to like 10. It has an alternating gyro mode where it'll go forward for four seconds and reverse for four seconds. I do like this, but honestly in reverse, it's pretty loud. And it has an alternating mode that I've tried and I just don't care for it. I don't like the water movement of it, but I do like it if you want more water movement. And then it just has a constant mode, which I showed you. I will show you it runs at 100%. This pump actually has like an automatic mode. And what I do like about that is, let's say you wanted to run, uh, let me get back to what I was doing. Let's say you wanted to run pulsating mode for 12 hours a day when the lights are on. You can do that. And let's say I've seen some people do, is they'll run it at full blast at 100% when everything is off. When you do that, it's not really going to hurt the corals or anything, especially if soft corals like me when they close up at night, they're not really gonna care what's happening at night. So I do like that aspect of you have some controllability, which you want to happen day through day. And it's easy to use. I do like that about this pump. So now that you've seen my unboxing, I do wanna tell you why I ended up getting this pump. And I'm gonna start off with some positive aspects with it. I have been previously running some high doors, some just basic Petco high doors on my tank and I had them pointing at each other, but my problem with the high doors is they shoot a stream of water, like almost like a barrel, whereas with the ice cap, it is spread over more surface area, so you get more movement in the tank, and I like that. Unfortunately, that's the only thing I like about this pump. Why is that? Because it's loud. Now, I am currently running my pump at 40%, which is not what I want it to be running at. Ideally, I like it when it runs at 70% because I get more water movement and it really does stir up the sand bed and gets a lot of the extra detritus off my rocks and the rock work so it can be filtered down to my mechanical filtration. But the problem is, at 70%, you can hear it all the way downstairs. My tank is on the second floor and if you're in the downstairs living room or even in the kitchen, you can just hear this constant buzzing and it's annoying the rest of my family. So I am currently only running my pump at 40%. Now, why does that suck? Because I paid for this. Like, this pump is still $150. And for $150, which is a lot of money, I would expect something better out of it. I had read some reviews online that it can has a needs a break in period so I did give this pump three weeks before I did this initial review on it but unfortunately it hasn't gotten that it hasn't gotten quieter it's honestly gotten worse it's getting to the point where me and my fiance are in this room watching TV we have to turn the TV volume up in order for us to hear the TV and when I'm over in my desk area doing my homework I have to have headphones in because I just can't stand that noise I can run it in forward or I can run it in reverse and it makes the same noise and it's Honestly, not pleasant. I'm younger, so maybe my hearing's a little better, but I just don't care for this pump. I'm sorry, and I know that's why you come to see these videos, just get an honest review, and 
usually like, oh yeah, this is the best pump ever. For me, it hasn't been the best experience for me. This is actually my second pump I've had of this. The first pump I had actually had a defaulted controller, and the actual pump itself was still loud. I just correlated that to the pump actually being defaulted. I would wake up in the morning and the pump would be off, which is not good. So this is my second pump. I gave it three weeks to break in and it's still loud. Now, if you're deaf or this is in another room, I would recommend this pump, but other than that, don't buy it. It's not that good. I'm sorry. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I know this video wasn't what you expected today. So, as always, give this video a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe, which is the same thing. Have a great day, and keep on reefing.